Hi guys. Remember this? He's all dry. It's been a couple of days. He's so pretty. I messed up here by tilting it, but it's okay. We're still going to do some trees on here. I think so. We're going to go up. Yeah. We're going to come down and we're going to go up. So, my color palette. What is Artist Loft Gold? Old Gold. Okay. And then I've got Montmartre Van Dyke Brown. I don't know which one's different. And one Burnt Sienna. I think the Burnt Sienna is the darker one. And then I've got Montmartre Black. Okay. It comes in a big old half gallon and it's just easier if I put it in the little tubes. Okay. And then I have some Montmartre Silver and Montmartre White. And then I have some Montmartre Deep Cyan Blue. And I think that's it. That is my color palette. Now my brushes are just a variety of this one's just so I can make big lines. This one here so I can make little fine delicate lines and these here so I can do some shading and that this a little bitty one. This little one. So then I got my little cup of water on my on my uh, paper towel over here. Okay. So let's get going. Okay. I am going to zoom in, zoom, zoom, actually, yeah, that's good, that's good. Let me, let me do it this way, let me zoom in all the way to the canvas here, like so. Okay, I'm going to mark it. Like so. That way, I can do it this way and I know I'm in frame. How's that? Okay. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. We're going to start off with black. Because we're going to do the sides here. Now this is not mixed with anything. This is just plain black paint. And you just go down and you follow the trees. Now I want these sides all black. So go ahead and paint those black. Okay. I love doing these. I had a dream one night a long time ago and I just never had done it because I could never do a swipe. I, I sat there and watched Julie Cuts do it and, and try it and do her recipe and all that and I could never get the cells and the lacing. I could never do it until I found my pouring medium that I use now which is this point paint easy. I love this stuff. It creates cells. I mean, lacing out the wazoo. I mean, it's awesome. I love it. Alright, so all I'm doing is painting the edge. See, I'm painting it black. Because that's what I want. Not these. Just the bottom and the top. Because that's where a tree is going to be. And it don't have to be perfect right now. I just, I want it covered is all. That way I don't have to worry about it. Okay, now we're going to go on this side. We're going to do the same thing. Okay. Just do it. Now remember, this is, when you're doing your tree, that's your tree. It's how you want it. If you want it to look cartoony, make it look cartoony. If you want it to look real, make it look real. I like the realistic look myself. 
And then I like to throw in like some eyeballs or something, you know. Something's looking back at me. Alright. Let's get that. See? Painted the edge. Painted the edge. Okay. Yeah. We're going to go up. No, it's not going to be the same top and bottom. But I usually try to follow this center line that I did my swipe on. Now, my pouring medium, I don't know how to tell you because it's it's very liquidy. I pour some paint in because every paint is a different consistency, so it is hard to find like uh, I don't want to say it. It's hard to find an amount that you would use. That's what I'm trying to say. You d you don't you just put it in there until you get the right consistency, and you want it to pour off of your uh, popsicle stick or your stick or spoon or whatever. You don't want it thick at all. You want it pretty pretty runny. Now I'm just kind of making looking like a like a uh, ground type thing here. Now I'm just going to go up. I'm going to follow this around. Okay. And come down here. Follow it around. I guess it's like right there. So we're going to go here. I'm going to turn this around. We are going to do this like that. See, now let's turn this around and we're going to go here. Now, I have never seen a straight tree. There's always crooks and dings and, and curves and just all kinds of stuff in there. So, with that being said, don't make your straight tree straight. Not all, as Bob Ross used to say, not all of them are going to be telephone poles. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now, this tree is too See how that one is? It's kind of angled. That's how I want to do this one. And I'm not doing it to match the lacing on the bottom. That is not my goal. My goal is just to make it to look as realistic as I can. See? Now that looks pretty good. Now, um, I'm going to work on this side. This one looks like it's got a, a bump here, so we're going to work with that. I want it to be a little thicker. I'm going to go a little thicker here. Kind of like that. Okay. 
Now this one is going to have a branch off here. And you can make it any way you want. See, I had I had black where I did my swipe, so that's what I did. Just used it. So there's that one. Now you don't want it the same. You want it kind of different. So I see a spot where. I Need to buff up my black paint. Alright, now that actually looks pretty good. I'm going to get rid of that brush and clean it up. Clean, clean, clean. Try to get all the black out of it. Alright, now I'm going to go in with my my liner brush. I want to dip it in the water and then dip it in the black paint. Okay? That way it's a little runny. Okay? Now I want... I want to take advantage of some of these crooked lines in here. Make it as thin as you want. Or as thick as you want. But just remember that the further from the tree, the smaller it's going to be. Okay? So you want this part down here the biggest. Depending on how each one looks, I'll do these first. I'll do all the black first, and then I'll come in with the shadings. Right, we're going to go up a little more. This one's going to be thicker. Like that. That one is going that way, so I'm going to follow it. And then this one will go there like that. Just don't get carried too much way because you, you have to go back and do all the shading and stuff on them so do as many as you want where you want but just remember you have to go back and do the shading on them so that looks pretty good I can't tell if y'all see it or not yeah that looks good 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 deal, good deal, good deal. I'm going to put a box just so it's, uh, yeah, so it's easier for me to see. Now this one here has 
some pretty cool lines right there. So I'm going to use them. And not all of them are going to be pointy at the end, some of them are going to be blunt and all that. So just keep all that stuff in mind, guys. It's whatever you want it to be. And they don't all have to be like this big at the end either. Sorry about the noise. The neighbors are building a, a garage. Alright. See, and then these lines just complement everything that you're doing. Now we're going to go down here. Like that. Go off a little bit here. Come back and do like that. Sometimes your brush don't follow the same strokes you want it to. They don't have to go up and they don't have to go down, guys. They can go sideways, they can go behind the tree, whatever you want them to do. Remember, it's your tree. Make it a little bigger. Yeah. Right. How's that? Okay. Now we're going to some more. Now if you've got shaky hands like I do, this is perfect. Trees are perfect for you. Because trees are not always straight, remember? I'm hoping this is video one because the last one I did did not video. This one's going to be the dead side.
So there's going to be leaves on this side and no leaves on this side. So you don't want a whole lot of branches down here. Because the trees don't have a whole lot of branches left on them. Now if it's a big branch like this one is, it will make him not so straight. You don't want this side, this part being bigger than this part, so you have to, yeah, you just have to work with it, guys. Alright, let's get that done. Let's set it down a minute. I'm going to get the black out. Now, now my water is black. See, I need to get rid of it because I want um, my gold and silvers and whites not to be dirtied by the black water. So. And I'm just going to pour some new water in. And then we're going to start again. I am going to get my blow dryer. And I'm going to blow dry this so they're dry. Okay, I do not normally do that guys. I just do it so I can hurry it and show y'all the next step. Alright, now the next step I get this brush. It's a little bitty one, but it's kind of ruffled. Okay, I'm going to take some... Okay, blues are going to be on your shade side, okay? The white and gold and silver is going to be on your light side. So you have to decide which way the light's coming in. This way or this way. I'm thinking it's going to come in this way. So I'm going to have the light on this side and the shadows on this side. So we're going to come in with the gold first. And we're going to just lay some gold down here. I always try to do the base of the tree first before I, I jump into the limbs because you have to take your time with the limbs. Alright, now I'm going to go in with some brown. You guys know what bark looks like. You got highs and lows in the bark and you have thumps and and all that, so that's what we're going at. So we want a little bit of light here. Okay. 
okay and then we're going to go back I'm going to wipe that off with my brush and then we're going back and we're going to kind of smear it in and rend it kind of like that because you want you don't want no straight lines anything like that and that looks really good and then I take some white not a lot just a little bit and I put it on just the edge here just some of it not all now on the branches because see the branches are going to go this way so you want the light on the top of the branch not on the bottom so it will transfer over to there now that's yeah, this one's the dead tree. Okay, so get some more brown. And we're going to go back in here and just create some shadow here. Because I got way too much in there. So you just want to create some shadow part to it. Now, we're going to get some blue. And we're going to go on this side. this is the shadow side so this one will be this which actually will turn into like some greens mixed in with the dark Grab some of your black to make it even darker. But you normally will have blue tones on your shadow. And it just, it cools everything down. You can do the red side if you want to warm it up. But mostly on your shadow sides is going to be a blue tone. So we're going to get a little bit more of that blue and we're going to put it on the bottom side of this branch like that because you're going to have like reflective colors also. So I'm going to get some more of that gold. Some gold. the gold is very very pretty whenever you um, look at it in the sunlight or with light hitting it it'll reflect that gold so that's why I use the gold and the silver in my trees I did one for my daughter a great big one you've probably seen it on Facebook it's it was huge and everybody just loved it and I loved the way the, the the gold and the silvers I even used some copper in it I don't know why I grabbed silver but I did I, I really 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 loved the way it it played with each other now this one's supposed to be a dead tree, so I'm going to make some like, hollowed out stuff. You just take your black and you just make so make you a hole like that. 
up. You don't want it to be perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right. And then you take some highlight color. I'll take some of the white. It's my little fine brush here. And I'm just going to because it's going to stand out a little more. So this in the middle will look like it is further back. So, and there you go, and then you have a hole. See? What? Now, I want to create another hole down here. Uh, it's going to be here. Like that. Dark, dark. that brush. Okay, and then I'm going to get some of my whites. I'm going to do the same. So you just want a little bit here and there. There you go. Now you have two holes. One tree. Okay. Okay, y'all. Yes, it's like, oh, yeah. It's hot. Alright, I'm going to rinse that off. Now we're going to go around and we're going to do the base of this tree. Now this one's the live tree, so we're going to get that brush again. Okay. And we're going to go in with the gold first and remember this is the light tr light side see the light on that side so we want the light on the same side so yep I done messed up didn't I that's alright so we're going to go here that's alright we'll get it and there's right on the top of the tree the top of the branch and then we're going to just kind of scribble it in now up here you're going to have a lot of the leaves so you won't need whole lot of detail in there if that makes sense you just want the detail where you're going to see it I'm going to get some browns and we're going to go back in here and we're just going to off and on here and there go up in here just because you just want the gold to mix with the brown and it's alright let's do some less of the brown because it's darker let's do the blue let's get some blue 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 blue
see how that makes that true just pop. I need some black into that now. I just made my tree bigger. Don't matter. Now see how that looks, that blue. Just that makes that just pop. And you want to come back in with some of that gold again and kind of give it a little more highlight. Kind of like that. And you want to massage it in. Massage it. Massage it. Now I'm not going to have any holes in this side, just in that side, because that's the dead dead part. So we'll have to come back through and we'll have to fix the branches. That is very pain and time consuming. Painful and time consuming. So that's uh, a little bit of silver maybe. Not a lot in here just I said not a lot huh there's quite a bit on there all right let me get it off of there it's all I did and just because light is going to shine here and there it's not going to hit every spot so you don't want too much. Okay. Now we're going to get our liner brush. Okay. And I am going to mix up some water. Let me get this out of the way. Put some water down on my... It's just a paper plate. And I'm going to get some of this brown here. Okay. And I'm going to get some of the gold, put it over here, mix it up. Okay. Now I'm going to get some of this white and mix it up. You want it pretty light because you want it to look like it's light. And then I just roll it. Roll it. I don't like it all over the brush, so I try to get it all out of the top of it, and then I just have it like in the top of the brush, the tip of the bristle. Okay. And a little more white. A little more water. Because you want it pretty flowing. Alright, I'm going to get that back out of the way and get this. And we're going to go to the top of the branches. Because that's the lightest. So, we just, on this side, we just want a little bit of detail. Because you're not going to see it all with them. Um, the leaves so you just you just want a hint of the detail here and there not everywhere see some of these branches may be uncovered some of them may not so you don't want to go and do a whole lot of detail to them So, you don't waste your time. Okay, now we're going to go up here and do this one. Um, 
the ones that are straight up and down you want to do on that side and the ones that are kind of laying down you want on the top. this side over here that is one of the reasons why I don't go all the way up the branch I just do part of the branch now these I will do the whole branch but I want to get the leaves in first so I know where to put the limbs because they're going to enter or whatever you want to call it. it. It's easier to do it this way. Now I am kind of hurrying so y'all get the gist of it. So normally I would take my time and I would I would let it dry in between. Okay. My last tree, it took me four days, I think, to really get it the way I wanted it. I'm very anal. Okay, now see you can see that there's shadows and there's there's dark bits and there's shadows and you can see my highlight is not all the same color. See? So alright uh, now We're going to go ahead and do the leaves. Now I start with black, and I usually have a little round brush. Just a wee one. And I just go straight into the black. Okay. Now you got a limb here, so you want some bunch here. Kind of like that. Okay. And just daub it. Now you want more black because you're going to cover it up. You have to have shadow to have highlights. So you want shadows. I'm going to go up here. Now remember, don't cover the whole branch up. You want some of it showing just because that's that's why you did it the way you did it. See? Now you want some of this here covered up. Some of the main tree. And then we're going to cover some of these branches here, like that. See, and that one there's showing through. And we're going to do this one. And the one that is dead will put a lot more detail into the limbs and stuff. So, that's a little freaky. Freaky. Now we will put some color into the leaves too. Once the black dries, I can't do it. I mean, you could do it, but then it just m makes mud, and I don't. I don't do that. I just 
I wait till it's dry and then I do it. And you don't want it can go in and we can do some detail on the branches that we know that's not going to be covered up. Okay, make sure I ain't got no, these brushes are cheapies from Walmart and I lose bristles all the time. So I have to look at my painting to make sure I don't, I didn't lose any. <coughs> All right, let's turn her over. We are going to do some 